Yo guys, welcome back. To most of you watching this video, it's probably been a long time since you've seen one of our videos, given that Dragon Ball Super has ended, but now there's news about Dragon Ball Heroes which we will involve like Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta and all kinds of shit we want to see and I'm excited for it. We did cover 10 things you didn't know about Dende, if you'd like to know more about your Dende and the little dude, maybe check out that video after this one. Given that Super Saiyan is the one transformation that changed Dragon Ball Z forever and it's the one iteration of Super Saiyan that we will always set the bar of epicness in anime, it can be argued that it's the most iconic and widespread transformation of all time in anime. So saying all of that, we are finally covering 7 things you might not know about it. Since it's a topic you may know already everything about it, such as being a fan and all like us, please be aware that other non-Dragon Ball Z fans may not know the things you do. The number one thing that everyone around the world immediately thinks when Dragon Ball Z is mentioned is Super Saiyan, and for Dragon Ball fans that are aware, we all know that Toriyama has a forgetful nature or tries to cut corners whilst drawing his manga since he had to create a story on a weekly basis. Because of this, he tends to get inspired on the spot from various things surrounding him such as Star Wars, Terminator, Kung Fu films that include Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee. So Toriyama's editor was actually against having Goku grow up initially. This was because it wasn't common at the time for a protagonist of a shonen anime drastically change. But nowadays, that's what kind of, what's up what we kind of expect, you know, when we watch One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, Fairy Tail, they all have a time skip and admittedly they are all inspired by Dragon Ball. So because Toriyama is a boss up in this bitch, he said to his editor he won't be able to continue the series if Goku did not get older. Toriyama did this because it would mean drawing a fight scene would be easier and it would help him out. Skipping a chain of events that occurred, because Goku was older now and the legendary Super Saiyan concept was introduced in Dragon Ball Z, Toriyama thought of an idea that Goku transforming into a Super Saiyan against Freezer because he felt it was the only way to show Goku's massive power up. The funny thing is, his habit of skipping corners actually created an icon. Fight me if you're ready to die. Toriyama was initially concerned with the expression on Goku's face and his Super Saiyan transformation because he looked like a villain of some sort and the readers can misinterpret this. But because it was brought out due to anger, it seemed justifiable to the plot, thus the whole design went ahead. Another thing that happened due to sheer fate for the Super Saiyan was the yellow blonde hair. Toriyama actually wanted to help his assistant drawing Goku's hair by saving time, thus he decided to make Goku's hair blonde. Essentially, he was killing two birds with one stone, having him transform to seem stronger and taking less time to fill Goku's hair in the manga panels with black. The Super Saiyan is ingrained in pop culture at this point, I just don't know anyone that doesn't know what it is. We can all remember when we all laughed our asses off watching people trying to transform in real life. The Super Saiyan form is the biggest iconic transformation within anime, so much so that other anime decided to play homage to it or take parody. Here are a couple of anime which either directly or indirectly refer to this transformation. These can include Gintama, Kuroko no Basuke, Teen Titan or anything else that you might not think of. Is he still trying to turn into a Super Saiyan? Stop! You're gonna pop from the important! All I have to do is believe in myself! <laughs> Okay, 
魚弾を吐き続けるとは大したものねはあおやじも完全にご立腹だよ伝説のスーパーサイオヤジになってるよとにかく坊主の救出を最優先にしよう Alright, since power levels and power scaling was a thing within the Dragon Ball community along with the actual franchise, the Super Saiyan transformation power increase had gone through so many variations on what it actually is. Initially, it was stated that the transformation gives an increase of 50 folds of the base power of the person. However, this itself was disputed by Toriyama as in an interview, in his own words, he said, Only at a time it was considered that his strength would increase 50 fold when he became a Super Saiyan, but that was a bit of an exaggeration. My feeling as the curator is that while drawing it, I felt that it was about 10 fold change from what it is at that point. Later in Dragon Ball Z, the anime adventure video game, the multiplier for the form was stated to be actually only 2.5 the user's normal amount of power. Now, you guys might be thinking, what the hell, that if it's only 10 times or even only 2.5 times, then why doesn't Goku just use Kaioken? Well, the Super Saiyan state is a more natural extension of the Saiyan species, and once mastered, can be maintained much more effectively and without the side effects of the strain from the Kaioken. However, realistically, all of these multiplying factors wouldn't really hold up. Even if Toriyama stated Super Saiyan is only 10 folds, It is more likely that 50 folds seem more reasonable, right? And Toriyama possibly forgot how his power scaling works in Dragon Ball series. In the Dragon Ball Super exciting guidebooks, for example, it is suggested that Super Saiyan is 50 times the Saiyan's normal battle power, and Super Saiyan 2 is times 2 the strength of Super Saiyan, or 100 times the normal power. And then Super Saiyan 3 is 4 times the strength, so it's 400 times normal power. But Toriyama stated that these forms are merely an extension of the Super Saiyan with heavy strain on the user. In Toriyama's own words, he said Super Saiyan 2 and 3 are nothing more than powered up variations of Super Saiyan. After the fight with Beerus, Goku realized to himself that mastering his normal state and Super Saiyan would raise his level more and sap less strength from within himself. So I think he probably won't become Super Saiyan 2 or 3 anymore. And to add on to that, it is noted by Goku in Dragon Ball Super, if you guys can remember, along with his transformation and further forms, if it's combined with Kao Ken technique, the user might die due to the immense strain on the body. That's why Goku doesn't use it. This is why Goku never attempted to combine Kaioken with Super Saiyan besides in the other world tournament filler arc, but you can explain that by saying Goku was already dead. We can even see this in Dragon Ball Super, where Goku hardly ever went Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3, and when he did, it was just to show his transformations to future trunks that it is possible and other variations of the Super Saiyan. Goku did not use Super Saiyan 3 in the tournament of power or even against Jiren. Chi Chi's dislike for the Super Saiyan state is a reference to a social taboo in Japan, where a Japanese child dyeing his hair blonde is a sign of rebellion in the household. This is made more explicit in both the manga and anime of the Cell Game Saga, where Chi Chi complains about Gohan becoming a rebel upon seeing Gohan in the Super Saiyan state for the first time. This is further noted in Xenoverse 2. Pan reveals she hopes to achieve the form someday, and it is implied that her desire is partially out of vanity as she thinks she could look great with blonde hair. But ironically, it's the form's blonde hair that is the main reason why her grandmother detests the form, due to considering that it's a sign of delinquency. The legend regarding the Super Saiyan, as we all know in the franchise, was mentioned with a story by Vegeta, and most of us are probably aware that the Dragon Ball Super movie coming out next year will delve deeper into the past and future of the Super Saiyan transformation. Although the story of Super Saiyan transformation is muddled at this point, and Vegeta at that point of time was talking about a myth which Toriyama was making up on a weekly basis. However, recently, according to the timeline of Dragon Ball, the first Super Saiyan to ever exist is Yamoshi. This was confirmed by the creator Toriyama himself. Toriyama explains that the legend of the Super Saiyan which Frieza feared the most, Vegeta wished to be, and the Grand Elder Guru from Namek knew about before the Saiyans even knew themselves because if you can remember, Shenron explains the Namek history books has knowledge of Super Saiyans, so they must have encountered someone or something. 
They are all essentially talking about Yomoshi, the legendary Super Saiyan. Toriyama explains that Yomoshi was a Saiyan with a righteous heart, being different from the others. He had five comrades with him that started a rebellion, but once they were cornered by warriors about to kill them, he became a Super Saiyan for the first time. His fighting style was fearsome and shocked all the other Saiyans watching in disbelief. Yomoshi is supposedly took out a huge number amount of opponents before he worn himself out. He eventually was defeated but this is what created the legend we know in Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and what everyone is talking about. He is the legendary Super Saiyan. According to legend, the last Super Saiyan could only maintain his steps in the transformed state. His power was extraordinary. He had no equal in the universe. Okay, the next thing on the list is S cells. Now, I don't want to bore you with this one and can already tell you're making a face like this because I've repeated it so many times. One I'd recommend you guys watching, I'm sure you would find it very interesting after this video, is how to go super sane with science, which we explain biologically how it's possible and works in the real world. Like, we all know about the super sane bargain sale that occurred, right? Yes, naturally, it's a Super Saiyan bargain sale. Uh, uh -huh. Goten managed to achieve the Super Saiyan transformation at 3 years old. So how the hell did this even happen or even possible? But apparently, Goku did this due to his genetics and environment and even all Saiyans that they have S cells. These S cells allow them to achieve Super Saiyan. Because Goku is calm by nature and relaxed, he had a higher account of these cells compared to other Saiyans. This was passed down genetically through Gohan and to Goten. And to achieve the Super Saiyan, you need to have a trigger such as something that makes you upset or angry. This is what happened to Goten during his training with Chi Chi and I'm pretty sure if that was me at that age it would have been after a good dose of parental justice. <laughs> Before the Super Saiyan concept debuted, the term was first mentioned in the original English dub when Vegeta mockingly refers to Gohan as the little Super Saiyan in the episode Stop Vegeta Now. In the Japanese version, the term is first brought up by Nappa after Raditz was killed by Piccolo. Vegeta confirms how a half Saiyan like Gohan seemingly has the potential to become stronger than a full-blooded Saiyan which Nappa then dubs as a Super Saiyan. However, in the Funimation redub of the same scene, Vegeta instead tells Nappa that they will become Super Saiyans after gaining immortality from the Dragon Balls. In the AB group English dub of the movies, often nicknamed the Big Green Dub and some European dubs of the anime, the Saiyan race are called Space Warriors. Exactly, where will I find this Super Warrior? I have no idea. It's only a faint signal I feel, but it certainly seems to be the warrior we want. I shall go at once to confront this super warrior, whoever he may be. As such, this transformation is termed Super Space Warriors, or simply Super Warrior. Okay, time for a blazing round. When Dragon Ball Tenkaichi 3, when waiting for a couple of seconds in the dual menu screen, you can see a fun easter egg where Nappa asks Vegeta that if he thinks that Nappa would grow his goatee if he went Super Saiyan, which is hilarious. This later hit a wave within the community because Nappa has a blonde goatee and then a the whole meme started and everything like that. In the Dragon Ball Online game, the Dragon Ball franchise delivered a Super Saiyan Nappa with his goatee do existing and you can actually see this picture. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you want more Dragon Ball content as we are covering Whis. 5 things or 10 things you didn't know about him. Make sure to hit the notification button and follow us on Twitter if you need to be in the know of what we are doing. Thanks for supporting us as always and we'll see you next time.